And we're back. We're here with Esther Faida, who is from Life 360 Intercultural Church and will be part of Saturday's Culture Fest. Great to see you. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. Now, we have some beautiful, beautiful dresses yes. and things. Tell, give us your story a little bit, if you will. My name is Esther Faida. I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo, mm -hmm. but I left my country 12 years ago and lived in Kenya, in Nairobi, as a refugee. Yes. And then wow. we got resettled with the government of U.S. That's how I'm here. I've been here for three years. That's quite a big round trip you made mm -hmm. getting here, isn't yeah. it? I've been oh, through more than goodness. most of us could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. I've been here for three years. Three Just years. Just in much respect. Yeah. Now, part of what, of course, you're, you're going to be bringing to, to Culture Fest is this, well, I'm, yes, it's clothing, but it's beautiful. It, these are pieces mm -hmm. of art that I'm seeing they here. Are. Tell us a little bit about this, how you got involved doing something like yeah, this. Yeah, well, I left my, when I left my country, I was in college. I had some college years, mm -hmm. but when I lived in Kenya as a refugee, so I wanted to do something to not mm -hmm. stay at home. Yes. My husband is also an artist culture, mm -hmm. but I wanted, I didn't want to stay at home. So I had a neighbor, she was old and talked to, she was telling me, oh, you always have beautiful dresses. Mm -hmm. Why don't you find something to do? So then I said, oh, I'm interested in tailoring. Uh -huh. So I talked to my husband and then we hire, he hired a private teacher. So. I've been learning through that for like one, my first son, uh -huh. my oldest one is eight and a half now. Mm -hmm. He was nine months old. Oh so my. it was very hard, but <laughs> yes, it would be. Yeah, yes, I started it would. making would dress. Hard. And then after two years, I opened my shop, my own business. Yes. Yeah. In, you Kate, in Nairobi. You're very you have beautiful work. Yeah. Where, where do you. you draw your inspiration from? Where do you get your ideas from? I mean, I just check. There is some pictures online mm -hmm. on African dresses. I can check and show people. I do my business at home right now. Yes. But maybe in the future, I will love to expand it. Well, let's take a look also at, at some of these things that you yeah, brought. Yeah, I make kids' dresses. That's beautiful. Yeah. Where do I you get the fabric? From Africa. Oh, you order it in? Yes, ah. they usually, I usually pay for their shell or the post office. Mm -hmm. It can get here like after 10 days or two weeks. Now yeah. you're, you're going to be at Culture Fest. People yes. will see, see mm -hmm. your creations. Will they be able to purchase from you, things yes. like that? Yes. There you perfect. go. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I, I have some sample like for men's. I have shirts. Uh-huh. Something for everyone then. Yeah, but I'll have some fabric if some like... Everyone has the size. Of I'll course. have fabric and my tape measure. I use on -site. measurement. I don't use pa use pattern. So now so. you're getting absolutely yep. tailor-made garment. Then All that's right. good. <laughs> yeah. I love I love your work. Thank you so much. Thank and you. You've got to go see her at Culture Fest. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after this. Uh